Okay, so now I want to build the 0 to 3 up counter I just showed you how to make. So I'm going to start with I need to put power and ground to my chip. And I have buses run on mine already, so I have power here, ground down here, and I have the rails completely connected. So on my pinout diagram, you can see that I need power here. and I need ground below and then the other piece you may be able to see is that this piece is my clock my pulse generator and you can actually vary the speed of the pulse here you have 1 Hertz 10 Hertz 100 Hertz or 1000 Hertz so I want to actually run my clock in to remember we said the clock's going to go into my first um, clock signal alright so I'm going to show it here so here's my clock and the clock for the one is going to be right there on pin 3 The other thing I like to do with my clock is I would like to show, and I'm just actually going to swap these wires around, I want to see my clock also on my LEDs. So I'm going to feed it in here. And you should see right away that I begin to see the blinking output of my clock there. Alright, so the next thing that I do is I take, I need to tie my preset and my clear both out to power. When I looked up the pinout diagram, one and four were preset and clear. So I'll run them to power as well because I just want to tie them out. And if you were looking at the video before, you saw that I came in from the clock. My not Q fed my D. Okay, so when I look here, I have not Q and it needs to go into D. So pin six needs to go to pin two. Okay, and then Q was my output to, for the first one, was my least significant bit. So this doesn't complete my counter, but it, at the very least, this is my 0 and 1 counter. So let's look and see what I have. Alright, so when it starts, I'll st turn it off, and when I turn it on, you should be able to see up here that um, first I have no lights, zero, and then I have one light. And it will go back and forth between zero and one over and over. Zero, one. Zero, one. So this one is my clock. This is my counter. Alright, so that's the very first part of my circuit. So to make the next one, I needed to also take not Q and feed it into the clock of the other flip-flop. So when I look at my pin diagram, that's on pin 11. So I have to go from 6 to 11. And I'll find a wire to do that. There's pin 6 again. And... Here is pin 11. Alright, I need to tie my clear and my preset high again. So I'll take the clear high. I'll take the preset high. Okay. My not Q needs to go into my D. And 
And then my Q is going to go to my other output of my LED. And so now if I turn it off and turn it on, you should see my LEDs counting. The first one is my clock. So then I should have no light zero, then no light one, then two, then three. And I'll go through it with you, okay? I'm going to turn it up just a little bit so you can see it. Three. Zero, one, two, three. Zero, one, two, three. Now I'll change the speed of my clock and you can see the clock speed up and the counting speed up. So you can see now it counts much faster. And obviously so fast you can barely see it except in the one. Now we can't see any change at all. And then that's back to the other. So as I toggle back, when I get there, all right. So that is a zero to three up count.